This is Mark O'Brien, one of the co-founders of Project Libre. Myself and co-founder Laurent Cretineau have been in the project software industry for many years. I actually started in the mainframe days with a company called PSDI and a mainframe product called Project 2 that ran on IBM 3090 mainframes with the latest innovation at the time, the VAX VMS computer. They were command line programs and were million dollar deployments targeted primarily for the Defense Department and electricity industries. Very large projects with war room walls covered in plotted paper of the project schedules, integrated cost schedule control systems required earn value management and other techniques which are not as widely used in general business today but should be. I will have a separate video on earn value management costing and resource breakdown structures used in Project Libre, but today we'll focus on the work breakdown structure which is widely used and effective from a project manager's toolkit tr for tracking project progress and costs. The work breakdown structure referred to from now on as the WBS is the project broken down into successive levels until the proper level of detail has been defined. The project is broken down from summary tasks, subtasks, <clears throat> detailed tasks, and work packages. This is an important checkpoint when establishing the project plan to ensure you are tracking at the appropriate detailed level. As the project progresses, the WBS framework is used to compare schedule and cost performance uh, with the budget established for each level. The cost data rolls up the WBS tree and summarizes at each level of the structure. Cost accounts, variance, earn value can all be tracked, and it should be tracked at a measurable level based on the progress and responsibility assigned, and is an effective tool for reporting purposes to stakeholders or customers at certain summary levels. Let's take a look at the WBS in Project Libre. I have previously in previous videos uh, shown how to insert tasks, establish precedence relationships. I've already done that and populated the view here as you saw before. What I'll do now is I will highlight a series of tasks and I'll, I'll highlight all of them under the project summary task and I'll click on indent. When I do that, you can see a summary bar has been established and if I summarize that, you can see that it collapses. If I bring that back out, I've got a, another series of summary tasks I will do. Under engineering, I have software and hardware engineering and a series of tasks below each. I will highlight all of those and ins insert that, indent them. Under software, design, development, and testing are going to be subtasks, so I will indent those. And then under hardware, I've got design, development, and testing of hardware. We'll indent those. And under the rollout plan, I've got PR, digital assets, and rollout. And I'll indent those as well. And as you can see, if I want to collapse all of engineering, I can just take a look at the rollout plan, but I can still see the summary task there. <clears throat> or if I want to see all, all tasks collapse through. The indentation structure translates over to what we were talking about, the WBS view. So you can see that under software, there's design, development, and testing. And under hardware, there's divine, the design, development, and testing. I can zoom out and take a look at the entire structure. And you can see all of them there. From a practical standpoint, if I want to focus on a certain area, I'll go back to the Gantt chart, and I will summarize hardware and the rollout plan. And when I do so, and I go back to the WBS, you can see that it's now reflective of that summary structure being collapsed, <clears throat> and I can focus just on the software and testing, or the software development engineering side. And you can see that hardware is summarized and rollout plan is summarized. We will keep the uh, WBS condensed, uh, compressed here. As you can see, we have the cost, and it rolls up to engineering to the summary project uh, task, but we don't have a budget here. So let's go over to resources, and we can take a look at the resource. We have Olivia, Connor, Kylie, Mark, and Mindy as resources with their standard rates. We haven't put overtime rates in. As you can see, there's no RBS there. There is a summary structure on that, which is similar but we will cover the RBS in a separate uh, video. If we go back over to the Gantt chart, 
you can see I've kept it compressed so that we can focus on this. If I right click, I can show the assignments. I have assigned the tasks, uh, resources, but I didn't go through that. That's in another video. And we can actually annotate that and we can show a normal. So on design, I've assigned Olivia. On development, I've assigned Connor. And on testing, I've assigned Mindy. And again, we can put a baseline in here. And that baseline, if we go back to the WBS, we now have our budget. So now you can see the budget for software aligns with the current cost. However, if we go back to the Gantt chart and we change durations, so we make design uh, 15 days and let's just make uh, development, let's extend that out as well. And again, the costs on that are associated with the resources. If we go back to the WBS, we are going to see on design and development, the budget stays at 8000 as our baseline was, but the cost is now 12000 The same thing with development. We've got a, a variance there. We didn't mess with testing, and so the budget, which was the baseline, and the cost stay the same. And you can see that those costs roll up to software, also to engineering. And again, there's a variance at the entire project level. Once again, this is a great tool for using <clears throat> with uh, WBS, where you can see that the deviations as the project is progressing. Uh, the WBS is an important uh, tool in managing projects. I highly recommend utilizing for tracking project progress and variance, but also it's a great tool for stakeholder and client communication. A good way for project managers to also focus on problem areas within a project. I hope this was helpful. Please help promote this uh, video and also promote Project Libre on Twitter hashtag Project Libre, Facebook, and all social media. We certainly appreciate the help on that.